Hello, I'm Carol. For those of you who don't know me, I am an next door neighbor and good friend of Denise and Gail. I have been given the great honor of welcoming you all here to this fabulous wedding event. You all have been given the great honor of having been invited to be witnesses. And it's fitting that you are all here because in your own and unique way, each and every one of you has been loving and supporting and helped to provide a safe haven that has sustained this relationship over time. And a lot of us to be here today. So I love the story about how you two met. Uh, the way Gail tells it, we met it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> They knew right away. You've told me that you looked into each other's eyes and there was a sense of knowing. A sense of knowing right away. And then your rational mind, Denise, went to, oh my God. <laughs> How do we tell people? How do I tell my family? It was 1983 after all. Same-sex marriage wasn't legal in Massachusetts until 2004. Not in Maine until 2012. But here we are, 40 years later. And you told me that when you decided to get married, and you told everybody, you were not at all sure what kind of action you were going to get. And that you were overwhelmed by the generosity, by the excitement, by the confirmation of everybody in this room. And that that was the greatest bit. I think you said it was awesome. It was awesome. So we are going to wrap you. Yes. Okay. So just take a second and feel the love that everybody is sending to you. You've asked me to read a poem that you chose. <coughs> I will. Oops. Yeah. He needs shimmering moonlight. Our first traded glance with unspoken words flowing. Two souls began to dance, overtaken with feelings so strong and so new, my heart grew a steel, yours I was too. Two minds so alike yet with lives so contrasting, with a bond for me. Each moment ever was. 
Perfection between us, an astonishing truth. Could this be an illusion, obscured by our youth? We both took the chance. Despite any doubt, and let our hearts dance, feeling the love throughout. I am no longer unsure, as I know it is true. I am where I belong, and it is with you. Yes. Yeah. So I know you two want to give rings. Because I'm no longer 34, when I met Denise, my eyes were much better when I went to draw a person. <laughs> and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. This is a poem by Atticus for you. When I first saw you, it took every ounce of me not to hold you. When I saw you laugh, It took every ounce of me not to love you. When I saw your soul, it took every ounce of me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm also over 40. <laughs> Soon after I met Gail, I remember very well, I gave her a card, and she still has that card. And it basically said, because we didn't know where we were going, that whatever is ahead, that I'd be in it with her. And today, I'm saying that with this ring, that that will continue. I want to thank you, Melissa. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting married. Did you know that? Did you not get legally married now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is it. Yeah. Do you, Denise, hate Dale to be your lawfully wedded spouse? Louder? I do. <laughs> Dale. Do you hate Denise to be your lawfully wedded spouse? Absolutely. <laughs> then, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the state of Maine, I am thrilled. <laughs> I am thrilled to say that you're married. And we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is what you've all been waiting for. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. He's saying a picture. What? <laughs> oh, that's another one of these? Like... Ah. Thank you. We can keep practicing. <laughs> Okay, so just a few chairs. It looks like a lot of words. 
But this is an extraordinary day for us, to be surrounded by you and the love and affection is for sure the best guest, the gift we could ever get. It is precious beyond words. Thank you. And to Carol, you've given us your blessing, your love, and so much of yourself. So we could be what was most important to us today. And we thank you for that. You're so welcome. I love you both equally. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be better. Oh, and then, well, yes, I can do that too. <laughs> and then thank you all, all of you who stood up with us today. As we've said, I do. Christy, Estes, Amy, John, Bill, Ken, Laura, and Michelle. What can we say? What we can say is that we love you. Each and every one. Very deeply. And then... Let's <laughs> She takes care of me. Ah! <laughs> 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 with a leg. Oh, there. Okay. So to Pat and Alan and Thomas and Larry, thank you for sharing your beautiful homes with us and so much more. So much more. We gratefully accept all the love you've shared with us in so many ways. We won't ever forget it. Thank you. Thank you very well. So, your turn. It's <laughs> time to party. <laughs> So long. <laughs> 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 <laughs>